First of all, I'd like to take this moment to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting our efforts at the National Greyhound Foundation. Because of your caring heart, this program continues. Together, we have saved the lives of so many of these beautiful animals and at the same time helped give prisoners the belief that they can also make a difference. To show you our gratitude, we have decided to give you an instructional video so you can train your pet. We call it Love Training. This video is presented by the prisoners you have helped, along with the help of some very grateful greyhounds. Badger has a special trick that he does. He, uh, he likes to imitate a Harley Davidson. Starting up, he's a pretty good boy, ain't you, Badge? You ready? Go for a ride. Good boy. Good boy. This lady, she's been here a little over two weeks. And I'm just going to show you a little routine of things that she's learned since she's been here. Lady, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Down. No. Sit. Down. Good girl. Good girl. Lady, stay. Come. Good girl. Good girl. She picks up on things pretty fast. While the video is called Love Training Your Greyhound, this love training works perfect for any breed. Each month, another video lesson will be posted so you and your dog can learn together. This month, we will cover how to properly use a collar and leash, as well as how to bond with a rescued pet. My name's Sherry Tillett, and I'm the uh Greyhound coordinator here at PCI. We currently have uh, 17 greyhounds here. I have 34 handlers and have six more that are currently in training. So it gives me a grand total of 40 and hopefully one of these days we can even add more greyhounds. But I'm here today um, with all the guys and our greys and I want to take the opportunity first to thank these guys. They do some wonderful work and I appreciate everything that they do for the dogs. There are a lot of different styles of training as well as different methods within each style. We use a pop and release correction with a praise reward. You need a positive reinforcer when an act or command is done properly and a negative reinforcement when it is not done properly. As an example, in treat training, the dogs get the treat when they're good and doesn't get a treat when they're negative. But we do not at any time do treat training at this institution. We use love. We use a six foot training leash with the Martingale correction collar. The collar should be tight enough that only two fingers are inserted between the neck and the collar. This is a Martingale collar. This is what we use in the training the greyhounds. When you put a Martingale collar on, it has an adjustment on the side here. You tighten it up enough just so you can slide a couple fingers inside of the collar. That keeps it loose enough for it to be comfortable for the dog and tight enough not to slip over the head when you're trying to do correction or training your dog. When you hold your leash, you hold one hand through the loop like so. That way you always have constant control of your dog. When you're training, use what we call a J-hook. You hold your collar, hold your leash like this, and you keep what looks like a J in your leash. That way he, has, he or she has enough room to move around and do the commands. When you give a correction, a slight pop, it pulls these two things together on here and tightens the collar. That way she knows she's being corrected. When I first started learning how to train dogs, I used the, the standard choker chain. So when I was introduced to this, I will admit I was petrified by it because I knew nothing about this type of collar. It basically serves as a choker chain, but with the greyhound skin being so thin, you don't take the, the risk of the dog's skin being pinched or tore with a choker. I believe that's why they use these. When you very first start training your dog, I've also learned that if you put the collar up high, as you see right here, this is a very sensitive spot in their neck, and you're gonna get a lot of basic control out of that. Uh, for the guys who's never used these, 
please don't be afraid to use them because they, like I said before, they do act as a choker chain. You don't need as hard as a pop as you do with a choker chain. And as long as your dog don't yelp or your dog's feet does not leave the ground, you did a proper correction. Uh, what's the first thing that happens when the, uh, when the dog comes to the prison? Well, the first thing, we take them straight from the, the trailer when he comes in, we hand the dog. We immediately start the heel uh, on the way back because you have to take the dog with you, so it's not a part of the normal training. It has something that has to be done because of the conditions we're in, so that's the only thing that we can do until we have the bonding period. So the first, the so first, the first thing, thing is the heel straight from, straight from the bus. When they get off the bus is the heel. When the dogs get to pick away correctional institution, there's a 72 hour bonding period where they get with the inmates and where the dog actually learns to trust them uh, before the training begins. It varies from dog to dog. Like uh, 72 hours is normal. Some take a little longer. Some of them it could be a little less, but normally we like to keep the 72 hour period. So, you know, if there's any quirks coming out, we're gonna be aware of it. Uh, you, it's a, like I said, it's a judgment call from dog to dog. And it's, it's detrimental if you wait too long anyway, because the dog settles in and gets too comfortable and it just thinks, you know, this is my new life. This is the way I'm gonna go. See, this went from being aggressive to So what you got over there, Dan? What's it do? What's it do? What is it? That's the biggest bug I ever saw. Once again, I'd like to thank you for helping us save these beautiful dogs and change the lives of these prisoners. You are giving them a reason to change and to strive to become productive citizens. If you have any questions, please email us. If there's a training issue we can help you with, just let us know. And once again, thank you for caring.